All right, here is a damn small Linux, the DSL, and uh, this is basically how it looks like when you put it in. Uh, as you can know, an OS is operating system, and there are various operating systems out there, uh, like uh, Windows XP or Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 98, Windows 3.1, as well as Mac uh, OS 10, and as as well as others. And, and there were OSs before that, and like Atari had an OS, and Commodore. Pretty much every computer has an op operating system. And uh, basically, what well, this here is a uh, Linux, which is uh, based off of a uh, what they call a Unix. And uh, that was operating system that that <coughs> was responsible for a lot of the high-powered computers and uh, so forth in the 70s and 80s and 90s and whatnot and it's not a direct copy of it but it's uh, it's basically similar to what Unix is and that's how they get the word Linux on it and when you open it up here it has a little bit of a has a web page here that basically tells you about it and you notice here out to the side here it tells you the processing power the amount of RAM being used um, the battery time if you're on a laptop uh, the Linux distro on it, and uh, so forth. And uh, you think, well, where's the start button at? Well, if you just click on your, with your mouse, there it is. So here's applications, uh, games, setup, systems, and so forth. And out to the side here, they have Firefox, which most of you, hopefully, you're running Firefox if, you, if you're uh, surfing the internet. And uh, there it is here. There's a basically it pops up here and looks pretty familiar. And if we go to uh, uh, on a, uh, this is another website, let's go to one of random. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever been to this one before. Yeah, look, and it loads pretty quick. I mean, it's just really zippy. The one thing I have found on it, sadly, right now, and I was able to install this onto the hard drive. I guess I could probably get this where I can actually view it uh, because it need, I need to download a, a flash player and, and basically they do have the flash player plug in uh, on there so and uh, basically most web pages work good um, you know if we go to dig you know it loads pretty quickly on there uh, and of course the Probably the most important web page in a lot of ways, Google. Uh, all, all that works on here, and it's uh, it's it's pretty. It works similar to PC. You just hit the X there to close it down. You want to close it? Yeah, it looks pretty much familiar as anything else. But check out the applications, okay? And also like this, this is 50 megs, 50 megs, not not 50 gigs, 50 megs. And their their rule, their goal was to see how much stuff could they put on to some of those 50 megs. Okay, here's a Notepad. Yeah, I can see how fast I type. I don't save. Um, graphics. I got a paint program on here. And if you look at it, you know it looks really archaic in some ways, but it's uh, you know, it's it is what it is. It, it functions as, a, as an operating system. All right, there's that. And Yo, paste text. Uh, it looks like you need some really cool things on here, and you know I would, I'd have loved this back in the when I was a kid or something. Like, ah, there you go. So, you got a paint program. Again, you just kind of click there, see graphics, see what, image viewer, um, and check this out. You got word processing. They got a spreadsheet. Uh, they got a uh, MS Word viewer. Uh, calculator, dictionary. Let's let's see how the word processing looks like. And file new. And copy. And let's see if I use the command. Yeah, the commands work on it. I mean, it looks like it's. It, if I want to save it as um, RTF, well, you can open that up and everything. Save it HTML text file. You can open that up in any word processor. Uh, so to me that looks like it works good. Before we go, let's see the way it goes. It has spelling on it, formatting, fonts. That's pretty much all I need. Insert pictures. That's all I'd ever need.
Let's see apps. Let's see office spreadsheet. Let's put. Okay. Let's highlight all that jazz there. Oops, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Highlight all that there, and there it is. It sums it up. Yeah, it works. It's a spreadsheet. Okay, so uh, it looks to me like it's a, uh, uh, you know, that's it doesn't look like it has a PowerPoint. It has a PDF viewer, which is cool. A calendar. A sound. Let's see what they got. Play CD, play MPEGs. G phone. Let's see what that is. I don't know. Okay, must be some type of phone dialer thing. Uh, Net browsers, Firefox. Uh, it's got aim, got chats on here. Uh, Telenet, uh, FTP. Let's pull up a Telenet. If I knew any places to go, we'd be Teleneted right now. Got games. Golf. Looks like it's a uh, solitaire. Three. Yeah, but I can put four there. And it's a good time had by all of this here. I'd like to move, oh, there we go. Let's see if we can actually move a card up there. Alright, looks interesting. Alright, so that's cool. Um, it's pretty amazing. Uh, 50, and, it, and it's so zippy, it's so fast. This would work on a, a slower computer, so if you got a, a, a Pentium 2 laptop or PM3 laptop, I know by now you probably got rid of most of your desktops, but if you do have some older desktops, uh, this thing should run pretty quickly and pretty zippily on it. And um, this is the control panel looks like. So you know, it's not nothing pretty on it, but did the keyboard, uh, uh, keyboard, uh, floppy tool, printer setup, networking. Um, and let's maybe we do that up here a little bit. Yeah. So this is actually pretty cool here. So uh, and uh, and uh, you guys have a command line if you know your Unix commands or app commands. And they got some paradigms there of uh, you know from Windows on there. If you can't figure anything out, you can probably figure out how to use it from there on there. So uh, basically, this is um, uh, DSL, um, damn small Linux. And right now, it's you know I don't think the processing power hardly went up over a couple of percent here, and that's because it's so small uh, operating system wise. It'd be funny if they had a first-person shooter on here or something. I don't think they do. You got Minesweeper. Or okay, cool. All right, well, I guess that's it. Uh, check it out. And basically, the cool thing about this, you can download it as an ISO and then use your uh, CD burning software and uh, burn it onto a CD and start, uh, boot from your CD and try it out on your PC. And if it works, uh, that's cool. If it doesn't work, uh, that's cool too.